North Atlantic Kraken. In the depths of the North Atlantic, where the sea hides its oldest secrets beneath waves mountainous and forbidding, there sailed the Siren's Call, a vessel as rugged and seasoned as her captain, James McAllister. McAllister, a man whose veins coursed with salt water and whose heart beat in time with the ebb and flow of the tides, was on a quest. Rumors had reached his ears of a creature that dwelled in a particular uncharted trench, an abyss so deep and dark that sunlight dared not touch its floor. The Kraken, they whispered, a beast of legend, its tentacles vast enough to embrace an entire ship, its strength unmatched by any creature known to man. The crew, a collection of seasoned sailors and wide-eyed adventurers, drawn by tales of the unknown, shared their captain's resolve. Together, they sought to unveil the mysteries of the deep, to stand where no man had stood before, and to gaze upon what had remained unseen. As Siren's Call ventured further into the abyssal waters, the sea grew tumultuous, the sky darkened, and a silence fell, a silence so profound it seemed as if the ocean itself held its breath. It was then, in the heart of this silence, that the abyss stirred. Without warning, the sea erupted in violence, a colossal shadow rising from the depths. The kraken, ancient and terrible, broke the surface, its eyes burning like coals in the twilight. Its tentacles, each a leviathan in its own right, crashed down upon the siren's call, the sound of thunderclap in the otherwise motionless air. McAllister and his crew fought valiantly, their harpoons and cannons a mere annoyance to the beast. Each tentacle they severed was replaced by two more, each scream of defiance met with the deafening roar of the kraken. The ship groaned and splintered under the onslaught, the sea around them turning red as the battle raged. In the chaos, McAllister realized the truth of their quest. This was no mere expedition. It was a confrontation with the primordial forces of nature itself, a battle not for glory, but for survival. The Kraken, he understood, was not just a creature. It was the embodiment of the ocean's unfathomable depths, its power, and its fury. As the siren's call teetered on the brink of destruction, McAllister gathered his remaining crew. They were not just fighting to subdue a legend, they were fighting to escape the grip of the abyss, to return to the world of light and life from the domain of darkness and death. With the kraken looming over them, its tentacles weaving a net of doom, McAllister took one last desperate gamble. He ordered the crew to load the last of their gunpowder into the main cannon, aiming directly at the kraken's looming mass. The air was thick with tension, the scent of salt water and gunpowder merging into a pungent reminder of their dire circumstances. McAllister, with a glance that conveyed a world of hope and desperation, gave the order to fire. The cannon roared to life, a fiery comet arcing through the twilight towards the kraken. The explosion that followed was cataclysmic, illuminating the sea and sky in a blinding flash of light and fury. For a moment, Time seemed to stand still, the ocean silent in the wake of the explosion. When the light faded and the echoes of the blast died away, the crew of the siren's call looked on in disbelief. The kraken, the terror of the deep that had haunted sailors' nightmares for generations, was gone. In its place, floating on the surface of the water, was an ancient chest bound in iron and covered in barnacles. McAllister, with a mixture of bewilderment and caution, ordered the chest to be brought aboard. The crew gathered around as he broke the lock, the chest opening with a creak to reveal its contents. Inside, amidst a collection of strange, luminescent pearls and gold coins, stamped with symbols no one recognized, lay a map. This was no ordinary map. It was made of a material that seemed to shimmer with its own inner light, the ink used to chart the course glowing faintly. The map detailed a path not through water, but through the stars, a celestial navigation chart pointing to a location far beyond the reach of any sailor. The realization dawned on McAllister and his crew that the Kraken had not been guarding the depths of the ocean, but a gateway, a passage through the fabric of reality itself. The chest, the map, and the pearls were not treasures in the traditional sense, but keys to unlocking mysteries far greater than any of them had imagined. 
As the siren's call made her way back to civilization, her hull battered but her flag flying high, McAllister pondered their encounter. The battle with the Kraken had been a test, a trial to prove their worthiness, to discover the secrets of the universe. And so, the story of the siren's call and her encounter with the Kraken became a legend, not just of a battle with a monster of the deep, but of the opening of a door to the unknown, a surprise twist in the tale of man's quest for discovery. The sea, it seemed, was only the beginning. Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow at 6 a.m. EST for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions.